still here? Looking for something? Ah, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers might have hold something off for pawning. Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Molly, keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. A Baroness within reach and he settled for a chambermaid? Dandelion's not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. Yeah, guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects, examines it from all perspectives. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had him wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling him Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh, truly perverse. <laughs> he didn't get half of it. Called him a stallion once. That's the fool took it as a compliment. Till she pulled her bit in the reins into her cupboard. <laughs> Poor bastard fled out the window. Vespula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's her. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. That's her. Threw flower pots at him. Guess soul flames never die. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf. Never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs what Rosa of Atre named her Guihir. Well chosen, eh? All right. But Varatra? Her dad happened to be the Nilfgaardian ambassador. Yes. You know him? Wouldn't say that. Had a brief conversation with him at the palace in Vizima. Well, then you've a good notion of the kind of bloke he is. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric. But we, Rosa, preferred swordplay. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common swordmaster? More than one, it seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. So bad he resigns. What has it her dad's now looking to hire our next victim? I mean, instructor. A figure most rare, her nature dual. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Ah, uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. Dare say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one, then? Nah, you can have her. Why? See, elven beauty's like a young Beauclair wine, whereas I prefer vodka straight up. Well, know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. What do you want? Rose of Atra is expecting me, supposed to give her lessons in swordplay. Come with me. Miss Rosa awaits. Don't you realize what you've got yourself into? I hope so too. Miss Rosa's got a downright beast in temper. Shows no mercy. Grab a wooden one. Take care not to hurt the little miss. Turn the ambassadors up. Follow me. clearly went out of his way this time. Wood, to start with. I must know your work.
Not actually your swordplay instructor. Really? Then who are you? And how on earth did you get in? I'm a witcher. I'm looking for a witcher? That's splendid. I always wanted to meet a witcher. This is so exciting. Incredibly. But we ought to discuss that another time. Came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the Bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. Mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. Granted, you're quick. Yeah. Certainly be one. Fancy giving me a few private lessons? Sorry, gotta say no. Schedule's packed just now. As you wish. What are you two lovebirds whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix ups mastermind Edna Vaatra. The greatest mischief maker north or south of the Yoruga. Wait a minute. Mean to say Dandelion mixed you two up? On occasion, yes. But then Rosa would quickly set him straight. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I could explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Quiet. Ooh, now that's a mentor. Strong and decisive. Perhaps it's time I took up swordplay. Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. who Dandelion sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. But who knows? The Bard might have invented her just to make us jealous. Pitiful chorister. I'd say it worked. You've gone all red in the face just talking about it. Your face will be red when I scratch your eyes out. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Well, can I expect any more lessons in future? Sorry, Rosa. Afraid I can't at the moment. Farewell, then. Oh, payment for your time. 